the Eagle Pass Police Department yesterday uh, in the afternoon was involved in two major incidents uh, that uh, humbles me and, and, and I praise my officers for doing an excellent job in how this situation was handled. Uh, the first one occurred about 6 o'clock on Veterans Loop South close to LDC. Uh, our officers were uh, monitoring traffic uh, and, tra and speed enforcement and they ran into a vehicle that uh, committed traffic violations. Uh, the officer uh, stopped that vehicle and, and proceeded to uh, interview uh, the driver who was uh, identified as Sergio Cervantes. Uh, at the point of interview, uh, Mr. Cervantes did not produce a driver's license. Uh, our policy is that uh, when people do not possess a, uh, a, uh, a driver's license, they're placed under arrest and brought before the judge if, if they're not able to provide uh, proper identification. Also, at the same time, uh, no occupants were accompanying Mr. Cervantes in the vehicle. So we had no other recourse but to tow that vehicle. Uh, our policy also indicates that we have to inventory vehicles that are towed by the trucking companies. Uh, in the process of, of the inventory of that vehicle, uh, in the rear seat, uh, the officers uh, discovered in a five gallon aluminum trash can monies uh, that were bundled up in, in rolls and placed inside the interior of that, of that uh, trash can. Uh, after counting the money, it came out to about $140,000 that we recovered. Mr. Cervantes currently finds himself uh, held up here at the city jail, waiting for agents from the drug task force to come and interview him and take possession of that $140,000 uh, of uh, monies that he had.